Hello and welcome everyone to a new Let's Play series here in EU4 with me, Sneaky Bard. We are going for the um, Buddhist Strikes Back achievement with Ceylon, which requires us to conquer all of India. Let's see if I can't get... Yeah, all of this basically, minus Burma. Uh, and convert it to Buddhism. So, yeah, pretty tough start here with Ceylon. I haven't done anything in terms of re-rolling the start or even checking how our diplomatic options are going. So this Let's Play series will be hopefully not as shaky as the Arda build one in terms of restarts and whatever, but there might be a few and then I'll just put the link to the most um, what do you call most progress take, the most up-to-date take on uh, in the description of this video. So hey, let's look at our starting position first. We have one free merchant, so let's put him somewhere. What are you doing in Bengal? You're transferring trade power. Let's just have you collect here. Basically my standard move. Maybe not the best one, but it, it I like it. And we are a kingdom, so we are at least blessed with three diplomats. Ah, I love three diplomats. Bahmanis isn't the best, well, I mean, they're the best option for an ally, but they're not in the best of moods. Let's see, 21 only, oh, we could get that alliance. And same for royal marriage, nice. Let's, let's put one of you here. Who are your rivals anyway? Only Bahmanis, and you're allied with Mysore and Andara. And Jaffna? Jaffna, who is Jaffna? You're here. Uh, you're a vassal, of course. Um, Bahmanis, you hate. So we can't ally Malba nor Gujarat. You're not allied with Orissa? No, we could try and go for Orissa here. Oh, nice. I mean, they are considering a royal marriage. Not an alliance but they're pretty close to a royal marriage which is nice now about Bengal let's put you friendly as well you hate Orissa though you hate Malva too so maybe we should try and go for the alliance with you instead even though you're even further away from wanting an alliance with us than Orissa well let's put put you into Orissa here just trying to see if I can't get allies that help me um, deter the inevitable Vijayanagar attack on Ceylon. Um, Covered? Build spy network? Oh yeah, we have to do it here, obviously, since you're a vassal. Good. Is everything set so far? No, not really. We need to have you doing something. So patrol in Ceylon. We have to select a mission, the only one available is to improve our prestige. We need to select rivals. Let's let's do you and you because you both have selected us as rivals anyway. Why is there an eye here? Ah, currently hiding from enemy fleets that are too strong. Alright. We could what's our income? Our income is pretty decent so let's go for something like this always get the two calves as quickly as you can because they have awesome shock modifiers in the beginning of the game all right let's put the speed up to level three and then just wait until we could say royally marry Bahmanis or even Orissa. Orissa will happen sooner. Nice we got a strict guys we have more discipline right off the bat. Awesome. Love that. Since we are waiting, let's go further higher up. Uh, merchant guilds loses influence. Alright. I think I can do about that. Orissa is very soon going to be... There we go. Can we just get you back? And then you royally marry Orissa. Alright. Orissa, here we go. Okay, now you're closer to the point where you could get an alliance, so let's put you here. We should get the alliance 
a bit bef well at the same time roughly that we get the one with Bahman is nice. We'll keep the spy network guy here because we will wait what our current air dies? Oh my god. Our current air better not be good. No, our current air is crap. We will definitely go with oh well. One, I don't want to lose the stability. Two, I don't really care about our air. There we go. You died. Could also bump up stability because why not? Uh, yes, we can give Orissa the ducats. That means you're willing to accept an alliance by now. Indeed, you are. Let's put you here like this. Awesome. What about you? You're quite close to the alliance, but not quite there yet. But we will get there. No worries. Uh, let's give you military access as well as quickly as we can. Put this down one notch. There we go. We can finally fabricate a claim on Vanni so we can get the entire island to ourselves. Our opening move here enforce our heritage. Oh, yes, definitely. Our opening move here is going to be basically wait until Vijayanagar and Bahmanis enter into a war with each other and Vijayanagar is losing it and then strike or if we can promise Bahmanis and Orissa some land which we will give to them and then carve out our nice southern portion of India here and then just expand and at various points in time like betray our allies maybe even make sure that Bahmanis doesn't get this coastal strip even though we, they will hate us as soon as we get it for ourselves we can just expand around them and try and maintain them as allies for as long as possible they have a very similar flag to us it's got this well not very very similar but it's got this red yellow thing going on royal marriage no alliance no not yet. We will get the royal marriage when we get the alliance, apparently. What's our... that's looking like that. Do we need to focus somewhere, by the way? No, our focus is quite well as it is. What we could do, since we're just waiting here, is put our leader as a general, because why not? Oh, he turned out quite okay. 2-2. Two, two. And then just drill. So that we can start racking up that army professionalism which gives us various different bonuses that I don't remember by heart, so I'll just tell you what they are. Uh, gives us mercenary cost goes down and more mercenaries are available, mainly. And then at some point it also starts affecting your siege and stuff like that, I think, and your other things. Uh, if I'm wrong, do you tell me if I'm wrong? We also have this whole karma thing since we're Buddhist. We need to try and keep it in the middle so that we have the plus five discipline and the diplo rep at the same time. So at the moment, I don't think we have any national unrest. I'm going to go for stability cost modifier and lose a bit of karma. So here it says if we need to keep it like between minus 33 and 33, and karma decreases from starting wars so probably we should have actually gained karma because we are about to start a war as quickly as we can and yeah the further away it is from the middle the we lose bonuses or they become just not uh, like as good as they used to be so we have to try and juggle that which is it's an interesting mechanic, a bit of a pain though, since it uh, kind of puts another roadblock between you and potential expansion. Gujarat is at war. Um, wait, who are you at war with? Ah, uh, you're at war with Kathiwar, okay. These guys, fair enough. How about that royal marriage? Not yet. Next month next month no oh Gujarat just expanded quite a bit there we go we got the Alliance and then next month we can go for the royal marriage awesome all right I think we have managed to solidify oh, okay we could have just accepted it from there 
our diplomatic situation at least, which is good. And give you military access for those 10 opinion. Okay, now Vijayanagar is at war against Madurai. Madurai, who is our rival. Could we? No. And you are with Malabar, who is somewhere? Okay. If I had seen that earlier, because stupidly I assumed that they would be allied here. If I'd seen that earlier, then I might have been able to expand here without any issues. We'll also, I think, take you home and start fabricating on the all these guys here. Because yes, we can do that, good. And just see if we can't just snipe these away before the war with um, Vijayanagar. We need to get access from them though. Which is a pain, that is true. Okay, let's also start fabricating claims here. Uh, Madurai, because we want the straight for ourselves. Because, yeah, I think we missed a golden opportunity for expansion there, sadly. But hey, that happens. We should still be able to make something out of it. Even though VJ is quite quite terrifying until you deal with them, and then it's Bahmanis' turn to be terrifying and Jempu and whoever. Last time I did this campaign, or like the last time I did this and got the achievement for the first time, it did take me quite a long time to actually get this achievement, and it was like quite late in the game when I finally got it. I'm thinking since back then we didn't have this whole tributary thing, if we could uh, become their tributary. But it's uh, strategic interests, so Ming is at war and things like that. But if they start getting more tributaries like around here, we could become their tributary so we can war against them unimpededly. You're still besieging this, sadly. Looks like you're going to take out all of this. And you probably will not give me any form of access because you're hostile. Yeah. Sad. Let's get these claims though before we are no longer allowed to get them. Alright, here we go. Fabricate this claim. Nice. And you can come home too. Alright. I wonder if we declare war against Venad, who's allied with Cochin, so these two, could we uh, get access here? I mean, only problem is that obviously they have twice as many armies as we do. Oh nice, we got a siege pit for our king. Well, they don't have exactly twice as many, they have like eight in total, whereas we have... Um, um, uh, seven. Okay, but what do we do here? Grant export licenses. When the crown could not or would not pay cash to the nobles, they would instead grant them privileges to collect special revenues from which they could make a healthy profit. So do we want to piss off the nobility and... Jaffna? Yeah. I mean, let's, let's help the nobility out because then... Ah! I wanted to give you... Uh, get some... What you call it? Uh, military support. Okay, you need 40, so let's just let's be right with 50. Because we want that tech number four for the tactics and the morale, as always. Okay, yeah, you you expanded all the way there. And you have Malabari separatists walking through here. Let's just check what exactly is it you want. Pretty much want everything there. So let's go here, 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 here. Make this stuff that we want. Like this. Then does that overlap at all with you? 
No, it doesn't. Awesome. Coolio. Just preparing for that inevitable war that is to come. And our fleet. Let's see. I need to make sure my fleet is set to not engage during war. Mission settings. Default. Aggressiveness. Cautious. Yes. There. That. That's. Uh, icon has changed, so it it weirded me out. Okay, we can get another claim on you. Awesome. The last one. All right. Let's see how scary VJ will be. Can we get our guys in here, Orissa? No, we need favors to get you in. We could get in Bachmanis if we promise them land, which is fine. Ooh, nice, I definitely want to get this guy as an A, a 665, he's only one, um, or she, in this case, is only one uh, pip from the max, like, stats you can have. So, this is a female daughter, as we can read here, so the lack of an heir is worrying both the people of Ceylon and your advisors. Which advisors? We don't have any. There are no advisors here. You have an ambitious and talented daughter who has impressed both diplomats, foreign nobles, and your personal advisors. They must be imaginary ones, we're going crazy. With her wit and cunning. Is it not time to consider her as the heir of the throne? Yeah, we don't want rebellion, and we're completely fine with losing legitimacy. There we go. Swarna Manikia. Alright. And she will just... Yeah. She'll have a bit of... Uh, Legitimacy troubles when she first ascends, but who cares? And we're already 60 and we're training troops. Oh dear. Alright. Ah, there's your peasants. Mm. Oh, that's a nice stack of peasants, actually. How quickly are we getting favors with you? Just checking. One every two years, all right. Any like small guy, you're a vassal of Malva, okay. Like Jampu, how are you feeling about an alliance? Not feeling it really. Not because we've allied anyone you hate though. Garjat, vassal of Orissa. We're allied with them. Awesome. Mewar. You could feel an alliance. Huh. Maybe. Let's start improving relations here and here. Just to see how they'd react to entreaties of an alliance. And meanwhile, I will just. I'll actually put this down to max while we wait for favors to accrue and something to happen because as a small nation in EU4 when you start out there's very little you can actually do you need to strike at that opportunity patience is a virtue after all as I try to remind myself because my patience weirdly enough has a tendency to run thin when I know that I need it the most okay we can tech up military nice there we go We are on that all-important tech four. Ah, we could get a Zoroastrian faith minstrel or get stability. I'm for the stability since we know that when our king dies we will lose stability anyway. So we don't have to pay those um, admin points. Jampur, you're at war against Sistan. Right, 23, 49. Okay, we couldn't quite afford it. Alright, Renaissance has been discovered. 5270. Mewar, okay. So you're far more likely to be an ally, ally, even though I don't think you will be one. Okay, I think we should gain karma here. Uh, but how much karma? I mean, we have the. 
Yeah, let's pay the money because we have the actual uh, thing of needing to improve our prestige. So let's get prestige as quickly as we can. Oh, that is the timer. We gained Lawgiver for our awesome air though. But that is it for the episode. So we will wait for an opportunity to arise in which probably once Bahmanis is finished with Malva. Uh, in which we can actually start expanding into into Vijayanagar here. We could try... Oh, you're at... Venad is at war against Vijay? Ah, interesting. We could probably... Could we? Put a claim now on Cochin and try and march our troops across here. Uh, because now they're ally less which would be interesting but that we will have to wait for that in the next episode I will also you know what I will do before we end here we will mark you as important so I know when you're at war with various people all right but as always thank you for watching if you did enjoy this episode then do give me a like and a subscribe if you didn't put it down in the comments so I do know what to do better for the next time as always my name's been sneaky bard and you've been absolutely awesome I'll see you in the next episode bye bye